Okay, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Fishing with TR. So yesterday was tournament day, and uh, I'm just kind of sitting at home today, chilling and relaxing, resting up. Uh, I know some of y'all do well without sleep, but uh, staying up that late works on me a little bit, particularly because I had to be up at about uh, 6.30 or 7 o'clock this morning after uh, my head hitting the pillow about 2.30 <laughs> anyway. Uh, guys, it was a, uh, it was an adventure, and uh, good result for me. I'll show you at the end what we got. But uh, guys, hope you enjoy this video, and I'll give you some commentary uh, as we go along. Enjoy. All right, guys. So we're going to start the video here, and uh, just to tell you, this is about four and a half hours into the tournament. Uh, lines were in the water at four o'clock. And I started the day by running down south. Uh, we were launching out of Horace King Park, which is on the southern part of the lake. And I figured, well, since we're down on the southern part, I'll go fish some deep holes and, and drag some of the, uh, you know, cleaner stretch, uh, cleaner sections of the old main channel. And uh, so I went down there and I, I started to, to try to do that and I ended up having some trolling motor issues. Turns out my remote was broke uh, <clears throat> wasn't functioning correctly so I you know fortunately had an old remote in the boat and got it working but I missed out on probably the first 20-25 uh, minutes of uh, official tournament time trying to get that fixed and then uh, drug baits for a couple hours in Lower Lake and uh, just didn't have any luck so uh, came up river a little bit and uh, tried to hit some spots that I really like and struck out again and what you're looking at here uh, I figured well you know they're not, they're not generating current I figured moving baits would be the way to go and dragging did not produce anything so I said well I'll just beach my boat on a point during the witching hour you know that 20 minutes before sundown and I'll sit there for a while into the dark and just see what happens guys so this is where we are we got the boat on the beach on a point let's see what happens here we are a good five hours into the tournament finally fixing to put the first hook in a fish let's see what happens All right, y'all know usually in a video when I catch a decent fish, I hold it up and I show the camera. I was pretty discouraged from a long five hours of turn of fishing, not catching any things. All, all my mind was on was getting this fish in the live well. Fish number two on the way. Thank you. 
All right, it's a dinky channel cat, but hey, that's one more fish toward our limit. All right, fish number three. I've been watching this rod bounce for a little while. I know it's a flathead. Let's get him to the boat. Oh my god. I got that going. I don't know if you can hear me real well. But when I'm not tournament fishing, I will boat flip a, a fish this size. I decided to use the net. Thank goodness I did because that hook just fell out. Woo! Fishing's been tough this evening, guys. Real tough. But we finally got a three fish limit. I sure would like to catch a bigger one, though, I'll be honest with you. All right, so we sat on that point for a little while, and uh, when we got about an hour and a half of tournament time left, I decided I was going to drag baits a little bit more. I felt like the fish would now be moving up onto some flats looking to feed and uh, just figured I'd drag the flats a little bit, you know, with a little, little bit of time I had left. Let's see what happens. Better fish on board. That means we get the cold one. Bye bye, channel cat. That fish right there is the one that gave me a little bit of confidence we might have to stand a chance in this tournament, guys. I was glad to get him. One more for the road. When I was fooling with that other fish and uh, finally got settled, I noticed that uh, this planer board was not working right. It had been knocked off the board and it was straight behind the boat instead of be beside me. Turns out, had a little fish on it.
fished another good 30 minutes or so with no more fish activity guys and then it was time to go for the weigh-in let's talk about the results all right guys i hope you enjoyed that and uh the result first place I ended up with 40 pounds, 40.5 pounds, and it was enough to take first. Again, West Point Lake is a tough lake, and for most of our weigh-ins, it's pretty common for you know a 30 or 40 pound bag to win it. But uh, nonetheless, guys, I'll take it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you're seeing, guys, like and subscribe. Oh, and looky here. Look at that, first place, guys. First place. All right, we'll see y'all next time. I appreciate you watching.